Uh, hey guys, um, I wanted to have this video up earlier today. Uh, it's my SmackDown review. Uh, I'm a little behind times. I've been procrastinating. With that all put said, uh, I'm getting it up now. Uh, but this is kind of like my intro, I guess you could say. But anyways, um, the show was pretty decent. Um, we had, you know, a couple things that I'm, I'm going to talk about in a second. Um, so, uh, but I figured that SmackDown would be raw, and I'll give you my ratings at the end of this uh, whole bit. But I was excited for SmackDown as we get ready for WrestleMania. We got it coming up. It's fastly approaching, so storylines are going to be told. Storylines are going to start happening. You're going to start seeing it, and we did in this episode. So uh, I'm not even going to make this a long intro. Let's just get right over into the action. You don't want to hear me just talk about nothing. Let's get into the action so I can talk about what happened. Smackdown time. That's right. Um, I thought some of these matches were really good talent-wise. Maybe I didn't like the ending or something else, but uh, I didn't really see too many bad matches. I thought the uh, probably the um, I would have to say the probably the worst match of the night. Um, well, one of the worst matches of the night would have to be the uh, Becky Lynch um, Alexa Bliss fight. But before I get into that, I want to talk about the start of the show where. Unfortunately, Naomi had to relinquish her, her women's title. Um, hate to see it happen. I really like Naomi, and I was so happy for her when she won. Uh, but having to relinquish the title was a uh, was a big thing. Um, so she gave the title over. Uh, she did make a mention about WrestleMania. I guess since I'm giving away the title, that means that uh, WrestleMania is out too. Uh, so I don't know if this is going to be some kind of part of the storyline or not. And they're just doing storyline. I didn't even know she was injured until this, uh, until earlier that night when they posted it on, uh, on, uh, the, uh, app. But, um, yeah. So I don't know if it's going to be a part of the storyline or not. But anyways, uh, she did relinquish it. And we had Alexa Bliss versus Neil, uh, versus, uh, sorry, Becky Lynch for the title. Um, I have no problem with Alexa Bliss holding the title again. Alexa Bliss did win. Uh, the only problem I have is you're not really making her look strong in the women's division. Either she gets a cradle or a pin, or a pin holding the tights. Um, really, it's, it's just what it is. Um, uh, I wasn't too fond of the match itself. At the end, you do see Mickey James come down and the uh, friendship's still boiling or whatever. Mickey James wants a shot at the title, but as long as Alexa Bliss has the title, is is this all set up for uh, her to get her shot? Anyways, um, on to some of the other matches I thought were really good talent. There may have been endings or starts of the match. I thought the match between uh, American Alpha and Breezango, uh, I thought that match was just terrible as far as uh, the match itself. I thought... Um, it was uh it was too dominated by uh, American Alpha in my opinion, but um, what I thought was fantastic about that whole segment was when the Usos came down. Now I'm I was the first one to always complain about the Usos on the mic work, uh, but I thought they did a very good job with the mic. Uh, I think they became better mic workers since they did the um, the new Usos. Uh, this new look and everything. I think the Usos have became a better. Um, um, they, the skills with the mic have become better. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see these Usos. I'm actually a fan of this new Usos. At first I was, I like the color. But uh, since uh, this new Usos have really taken effect and I've let them grow on me, I like it. I like the Usos. I like the way they're going. And I think it's setting up for a match coming up. The Usos versus American Alpha. Um, and... I think it's the match that's going to uh, be a title change. Okay, we also had the women's Falls Count Anywhere match. I was really excited about this. We're getting to see the women's fight in this type of match. Um, and it was a really brutal match. It was a good match. Uh, it's, I think the best of the feud between uh, Natty and uh, Nikki. The best match of the feud. Um, very good match back and forth. Um uh, and, uh, you know, it came down to, uh, uh, Maurice comes, uh, walking by, she gets, uh, Nikki gets thrown into her, then they're fighting, coming back to the ring, and, uh, 
um, Nikki reverse uh, out of the, uh, the the attempt at the sharpshooter. Um, and then all of a sudden, Maurice comes down and starts beating her with a uh, bat, pipe, something. I, I'm not quite for sure what the weapon was, but she was uh, doing it. And Miz has to come down and pull her off of her. Um, now, this kind of set up for the for the Rumble. But I thought the match was really good. Uh, Natty does win. Um, I don't know if the feud's over or not, but Natty did win. Now, this is kind of set up something that I'm thinking. Because um, in the Rumble, first off, I want to talk about um, uh, a feud that seems to be brewing from uh, Elimination Chambers. And I think it's continued to build a storyline at the Rumble for the for the Intercontinental title. You know what I'm talking about. Dean Ambrose versus... Uh, um, Baron Corbin. I thought that they did a very good job of, uh, of possibly building that feud um, when Dean threw Baron out of the ring, eliminated him for the second time, and um, then uh, then he takes he pulls him out from underneath the ring and just totally destroys Dean. Uh, I think they're building for something there. The other match, the other one I wanted to talk about was John Cena eliminating um, the Miz. Then the Miz comes in later and eliminates John Cena. Um, could this be building a feud? Maybe a mixed tag match between John Cena and Nikki versus Maurice and um, the Miz, or are they just gonna have the women feud just feud to build onto the um, a match between the Miz and John Cena? Uh, there's a lot of ways they could go with this. It's really exciting to see which way they go. Um, I felt that that was what they're doing is a building for a feud between these four, the, these two couples. Uh, the other one was AJ Styles and Luke Harper were the last two guys in the match. Um, a lot of people were figuring automatically Luke Harper is going to win. Um, building for that feud to still be a Wyatt family type feud. Um, but both hit the ground at the same time. So after conversing with referees, uh, Daniel Bryan came to the conclusion that it was a draw. We will have a number one contender match the following week. I like it. Uh, I don't like the draw as much, but I like I like that we're going to continue this feud, uh, this match, and allow to be a number one contender. I have a feeling it's going to be Luke Harper. Um, I just I just do. I feel like uh, you know since Randy, Randy Orton's not going to face uh, Bray Wyatt, why not have his other disciple that he his former disciple face him for the title? I don't know. Uh, should be really interesting which way they go with this. Um, but yeah, SmackDown was pretty good. It wasn't too bad. Okay, guys, I'm going to close out the video. Uh, SmackDown wasn't too bad this week. Uh, I don't normally give a show five st uh, five bears out of five, uh, and this one's not going to get five bears out of five. Um, I went from f from uh, four to four and a half, back to four, and I'm going to actually stick with the four. Four bears out of four, so they only beat them by half a bear. So, not bad. But SmackDown did have the better show. I thought the talent was a lot better. I think they need to fix the women's division, in my opinion. Um... But that's about the biggest fix that they need. I think they have some feuds that building up that's going to make SmackDown just that much better. Um, anyways, I thought this was a good show. Um, some really good talented stuff happening. I love what they're doing with the Usos. Um, I love what they're doing with, uh, with uh, some of the feuds building out of that Rumble. So... Let's see what goes on. Anyways, I'm going to get on out of here, guys. As always, everything's in the description. Hit that like. Comment if you want to discuss SmackDown. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to get on out of here. So this is Big Bear. I'm signing out. Peace.